Hello, this NVivo tutorial will show how to identify and visualize various types of data in NVivo using two specific types of queries or search engines called word frequency and text search queries. There are two specific features in NVivo that allow for the searching of various words phrases or text in the data. The first is called a word frequency query. It has the ability to locate up to a thousand commonly used or found words and phrases in the data. The other feature is a text search query, which allows a researcher to determine words or phrases of interest within a single result. These features help generate ideas for further study and, and analysis by identifying potentially interesting, possibly puzzling or confusing, or commonly mentioned concepts and themes in the data. What exactly can a word frequency query and a text search query do for a researcher? And so here are a few possible uh, strategies that could be potentially helpful for a researcher to utilize. Perhaps there is too much data or simply not enough time to sift through the data to read and code all of its content. So these two queries can quickly identify important emerging words and phrases that can help begin a project or the overall coding process. In doing a text search query, the researcher can identify potential words and themes that can then be coded as part of the coding process. And then finally, using the counts from the word frequency query can help compare concerns or points raised in prior literature and research with the current research that the researcher is conducting. This tutorial will show how to run word frequency and text search queries in NVivo. So this is a sample project that is exploring the idea of aging and well-being in various sample groups. And so you will click on this tab in the top ribbon titled Explore. Here you'll see the two available options of a text search and a word frequency. So let's first do a text search. And it also gives you the uh, ability to search various types of words within specific files. And so as an example, what I would like to search are a couple of different words in the available literature. So on the left hand side, I will select the specific projects in which I would like the text, query, the, the text search query to be run. So I will maximize this plus sign and select the well-being literature. So you can see that on the left hand side, here are the various articles and documents that have been uploaded into NVivo for potential analysis or coding. And so I selected just the well-being literature. I will click on OK. And now I will type in the various words that I'm interested in searching. So considering that this is a project about aging, I will perhaps be interested in searching for words like age, aging, young, old. You also have the, the opportunity to expand the search to include STEM words, synonyms, specializations, or generalizations. For now, I will leave it as an exact match. I will click on Run Query. It will take it a second to run the query through all of those articles and documents, and we can start to see what it was able to find. On the right-hand panel, uh, we have various uh, tabs like Summary, Reference, PDF, and Word Tree. So when I click on Reference, I can begin to see all of the coded references that include the words that 
are of interest to me, such as old, age, young, and I can see within the context of each of those words what they mean and what they look like. Perhaps I also want to look at the specific documents and the articles in which these words were found. I click on PDF and it will also be able to bring up those articles with those highlighted text. And then finally, I can click on Word Tree to look at what it might look like from a visual perspective. So age is one of the most commonly applied and mentioned words. Obviously, there are many references here, uh, and this might not be helpful when it looks like this, but if there are less re references, less words, then this can be a good way to visualize the different ways in which these words or these texts are appearing in the data. So that was a text search query. So I will X that out and now we will run a word frequency query. I have clicked on that and you know I am not interested in the 1000 most frequent words. Perhaps I only want to look at uh, 20 most frequent words. You can also change the minimum length of the word. So maybe I would like four instead of three and again it's allowing you to expand this search by looking at stem words, synonyms, specializations, or generalizations. But for now I will keep it as an exact match. Once again it will allow me to select the items in which this word frequency query will run. I would like it to run on that same set of documents of the well-being literature. So I will click on OK and I will run the query. And here we see the 20 most frequent words that are that are coming up in these documents with older being the most commonly used word, health, people, care, aging. So once again, I can look on this right hand panel and, and click on various additional tabs to look at how these words might look like visually. So here I have a word cloud that has been created using those 20 most frequently used or found words in the documents. This could be an interesting way to again visualize the data, visualize uh, various types of uh, codes uh, in a visual way. There is also a tree map, but again, this might not be super helpful when it just looks like this. And then the final tab is a cluster analysis. So again, you can highlight and click on various words to look at the context in which they appeared in the data. And I've double clicked on those words and I have been given the various references associated with where those words are found. So this is how to use the text search in the word frequency queries.